In his 50-year career as a consultant, and more recently as an academic, Don King has developed methods to determine re return on investment and value of libraries, written hundreds of articles, reports, and books that explain these findings and, and methods, and taught librarians how to conduct value assessments. His refinement of the critical incident and contingent valuation techniques in library assessment have influenced a generation of librarians and researchers. Don has been recognized by many organizations, including being named a pioneer of science information by the Chemical Heritage Foundation, an honorary fellow by the National Federation of Abstracting and Information Services, and the American Statistical Association. He has received special rec recognition by the Special Libraries Association and the Research Award and Award of Merit from the American Society for Information Science and Technology. Although he's been retired for many years, Don is still active in assessment projects and currently holds the positions of Honorary University Professor at Bryant University and Adjunct Professor at the University of Tennessee. Don is my mentor, my colleague, and my friend. Congratulations, Don. Congratulations to Don King on a, a wonderful award, well-deserved uh, after all of his time. I still remember Don King uh, when he promoted the first uh, Muhammad Ali fight. And then I remember when he promoted Sugar Ray Leonard and all of his fights. Um, <laughs> Don, you've had an amazing career. And of course, the Tyson Holyfield field fights were classics. Oh, Don King from Library and Information Science. Don, congratulations. <laughs> For, uh, for uh, an amazing career, uh, a well-deserved award, uh, you have been a, uh, uh, certainly um, one of the most amazing scholars in the field uh, and very well-deserved. Congratulations for all your great work and for this award. I want to congratulate you, Don, on this award. Uh, I first met Don about 15 years ago when he came to the University of Tennessee for a, a project. And what I enjoy most about Don is not his research, but his storytelling. It was just fabulous storytelling. I enjoyed it immensely. I remember those stories after all these years. Now, about his work, uh, much of Don's work uh, on the scientific and te technical communication system was called attention to uh, the many stakeholders in the system and the many interdependencies among them. Uh, you know, this transfers easily to all the scholarly communications and his work and continues to provide a comprehensive and a most useful model. Uh, Don's emphasis early and often on the library users and uh, on scholars' uh, information habits in general uh, quite commonplace to consider today, but rarely thought of when he began this work in this area several years ago. The rigor of his research, especially in the economic arena. One of the first things that I remember uh, after meeting Don King was his telling me how he always got great seats in a restaurant whenever he called in reservations. So good show, Don, on that. Uh, for over half a century, Don has been actively providing leadership in evaluation of information systems, economic analysis, public opinion, research operations, and library services through an incredibly productive output. His name is associated with major studies that have helped us understand the value of information and the services that agencies and automated systems provide to make it a useful component of human behavior and decision making. His resume of over 47 pages identifies publications of 17 monographs and over 400 articles with notable evidence of impact through high levels of citational references by others. Don's been exposed, uh, has been uh, most exposed to his work in developing models for return on investment and statistical analysis of measures to the area of economic value of libraries and their collections. He continues in his retirement to undertake research in specific venues and to be generous in consulting and assisting others to undertake their own assessments. Congratulations, Don, from the Live Value Project team.